Okay, thank you for being here. We're going to try to make this a training video that we will have up online for all of you who have attended because there's a lot of little ins and outs of what's going on. And I'm going to be giving you lots of information about fibrobyalgia. Uh, a little bit we have created here at the Center for Bioacoustic Biology, and most of it I just called from different articles. This particular class is designed for two-day technicians and for bearers who want to join us. The difference in those um, classes of people who are here is that the bearers will be able to see frequencies while the technicians uh, will be limited on the portal. This is primarily a class about the portal, using the portal to help us gather data. So welcome everyone and I am Sherry Edwards from the Institute of Bioacoustic Biology and we have with us today um, Mike who's going to be teaching part of the class. He is the genius behind the portal that's going to allow us to do something very, very quickly. I will point you toward a couple of articles that you might want to download. This is on Sound Health under In the News Articles. And if you go down to the bottom and you can click on this picture and we put that up because we certainly think fibromyalgia is a problem with the body's electrical system. But you can click here and it will bring you an article up that you can download and feel free to share it with other people. You might want to change the color of this dark reddish sort of uh, sidebar if you're going to do it in black and white because it'll probably just turn out black and you won't be able to see it. So you can download that. Other downloads here are the note correlate chart to tell you what each of the notes mean. But those of you who are technicians and bearers, if you're going to be doing this with us, we'll need to have a portal membership and you'll need to have the fibromyalgia membership uh, or template. There's a lot more to it. You're going to see today how to look at someone's vocal print and look at all of the um, templates at once. That is exciting and we're going to show you in terms of relevance today. So you're going to get a lot more information for your clients and for yourself about the files that you are inputting. So today we are going to be doing something with fibromyalgia. And so I've already put Carolyn Darnell in here, although I didn't have her birthday and her location. We can go back and change that when we go back to clients. But just to show you where we're going, here is Carolyn's information. And as we open it, and look at the relevance. A relevance of 32 is an incredibly high relevance. We just expand all and we can see almost immediately it's an F sharp and you can go back and look at this chart and see what F sharp is about. And we see that it's pyruvate. And for those of you who have studied with us before, pyruvate is needed for lactic acid and lactic acid buildup is one of the major causes of fibromyalgia. So we now know Carolyn's reason her body can't process pyruvate. It needs oxygen to do that. So we would either send her to the health food store to buy pyruvate. Um, I don't know how to get more oxygen in the system except maybe with nitric oxide and you can buy that at the health food store too. I think in pill form and there is a, a beet drink out now. Beet, yes, like the um, vegetable. 
that puts nitric oxide into the system. Also, um, avocados, fish oils, those would all help with the oxygenation. But that's as easy as it is. We opened a file. We didn't even pull points. We allowed the computer, this wonderful portal, to pull the points for us based on what we know about fibromyalgia and we look at the relevance of what is really, really important and we click and we make a report for Carolyn. I have been doing these and I can do them in less than five minutes. The very first thing we need to do is to train some people to deal with this and then the next one is to do a campaign to the public and to all of the fibromyalgia organizations that we know about and a lot of you have been sending us information. You can see here that also Carolyn has a Borrelia Lyme that may have been one of the issues that caused her body not to be able to use the pyruvate. She also has Candida very high. You can use grapefruit seed extract with that to get rid of it. So there's lots and lots of things here. You print this out or you just send it to her and it's that simple and we're going to go over all of this today in the hopes of training you how to use the portal because we firmly believe that whoever controls health controls the quality of life and when this first started they try to tell people who had fibromyalgia that it was all in their head and it's because they didn't have the answer and so we tend to go after things that medical science doesn't have the answer for because we are convinced that the state of your health can be found in the sound of your voice and we do two things here well actually three but I'm going to talk about two today vocal profiling which is stick a microphone in front of your face look at the frequencies and you'll be doing that with your clients having them send you a WAV file and I hope all of you are familiar with uh, audacity and if not we'll point you in the direction of having that information so you can send files and then sound presentation some of you will be providing the sound presentation to get rid of or to help the body get rid of the pain from fibromyalgia and you can do that by looking at the actual frequencies or we have some fibromyalgia tone box that you can help people with we'll be talking a little bit more about that as we look at people's vocal print we know that the body has the ability to self-diagnose and reorganize and they can the body can heal itself can heal cuts and bruises and um, whatever else is going on or it can try to a broken bone and as we look at that we have found that looking at the frequencies of the voice can give us information about the frequencies of the brain what the brain uses to heal itself and over the years of as we have collected data because there was nothing else to go by we found that people with similar traumas illnesses syndromes psychologies and on and on and on and on have similar if not identical vocal anomalies and we have done this project with fibromyalgia many many years ago and given it out to people our next sequence that we're going to do is going to be on lipedema and we found that Kim Kardashian has lipedema so there is an article it's in draft form uh, I've sent it to a couple of you uh, for proofing but it's been it's in draft form and we will be giving it out to you soon and putting together another project just like this this one's on fibromyalgia and it's going to be heavy on information and techniques on the portal we're going to be doing one on neuroplasticity again giving you information educating you so that you can accept clients that get in touch with us or just get in touch with you because you're on our map and you'll be able to help them 
and provide information because we want to help you train on the Sound Health Portal. We want to help you create these management reports that these people can take to their doctor or to their health food store. Know that we don't cure, the body cures itself. I want to make that a really important piece of information. The body has the ability to reorganize and heal itself. We just provide it what it needs. Just like they didn't have any medications for fibromyalgia, except nerve and, and pain kind of medications, which really didn't solve the problem. And when we went in, we found two issues. One, that the body couldn't rid itself of trash, like medications mostly, um, heavy metals, iron, an overabundance of iron we found could um, cause fibromyalgia and medical literature has still not caught up with us about that. The other is the inability to process lactic acid out of the muscles. Now lactic acid is actually a good thing. Lactic acid is there to rebuild the muscles, to keep the muscles young and supple. So it's a good thing, but providing specific formulas to your client causes the lactic acid to work quicker. So our idea of this is to involve you, train you, and then send you referrals uh, if you are a two-day technician person or even a, a five-day. I think from this, and what Michael's going to show you at the end, the five-day people are going to be astounded at what goes on and what can be seen all at once in the body. Our need about the portal is to collect data. That was the original idea. We trained so many people and they got so busy they couldn't keep up with anything, must less send us the data. And it became a scattering here and there of information. But we've got people to help us collect the data to share with each of you. Judy Chambers, and I don't think she's on with us, but she just took a little girl who was six and could not speak and with bioacoustic frequencies got her to be able to talk again. Now that's an incredible piece of information that we sh would share, would like to share with everybody. So collecting data is going to be really important. What did you find and what made it work? And as you begin to share with us these fibromyalgia accounts, then we'll be able to do hundreds of people and look at the commonalities in their voice. And to help you connect with future clients, we're also going to help you connect with uh, radio shows where once you get started with this, we can say um, we have information about fibromyalgia that may help your community. So we'll reach out to those radio shows and then announce that you're the local person. We also want to provide enough information, possibly from this PowerPoint that I'm doing, that you can use this information to go do community presentations. One of the things that's going to be necessary, unless you already own the fibromyalgia software that works on PCs and not the portal, is that you will need to have a portal subscription. So going to the soundhealthportal.com, it's awesome. The videos that they have put up here, incredibly professional videos for apprentices, the beginning people who've not taken any classes but don't have time to take the classes during the day. These apprentice videos show you how to get started. The technician videos a little more about evaluation and explanations of what you're finding. There is a fibromyalgia portal. It's soundhealthportal.com slash fibromyalgia and wonderful videos there, articles there, very well done, very professionally done. So you can go to the Sound Health Options site and grab some of these articles, but there are so many more articles, more information, 
on the portal because that section was specifically built for fibromyalgia. So for those of you who have signed up previously um, before today, you will have received a, an email invitation to the portal if you didn't already. And those not signed up should go to the soundhealthportal.com. If you want to purchase the public version of the software, this, the public version that works on your computer, for this class only, we're going to do it for $60. If you go on the portal, it is $20, and I think that's per month. You could have one client and make that money back a hundred times. So you must register with the Sound Health Portal to receive fibro referrals or be somebody that has the fibro software. And we don't mind whichever way you do it, but I think once you see how the portal works, you will be astounded at how much time it saves you from doing this. You don't even have to pull points anymore. We are getting a lot of recognition from a lot of people. Uh, doctors especially are joining us, and we've got our first doctor course happening the 14th and the 15th of April. Uh, the doctor were organized by Dr. Apsley, who's been following our work for about 20 years, and he watched us in action in February, and he said, our techniques are absolutely breathtaking. So you can use this as part of your marketing, um, any of these you can use. We also have films, Breaking the Sound Barriers of Disease and Miracles of Non-Medicine, for your marketing go to soundhealthoptions.com, go to downloads, go to secret stash, and there you'll find this. There's also links in Vimeo to both of these, and you can put these on a CD and send them to the doctors in your area. Most of you who've taken our course received a letter that showed how to get in touch with all the people in your area who are alternative health practitioners and also how to get in touch with the radio shows. If you did not get that letter, please get in touch with us because it's very important for you beginning to market your practice. This has a very esoteric beginning, and those of you who have taken our five-day professional course received this book written by Jill Madsen that tells you all of this computerization really comes from a talent I was born with, um, I have a sacculus activated in my ear. It's much like dolphins, but it's been dormant in humans for a lot, a long time. Mine happens to be um, activated probably from a near drowning experience when I was very young. But not only does it help me hear sounds in different octaves, but it helps me with pressure. And I don't think anybody who's ever written the books about this knows that it um, helps you understand the pressure of what's around you. Like in this room, which is about 25 by 20, with big tables and chairs, I can hear the sound of this room. And I can do the sound of this room, and the room will echo back to me. And that may be part of the echolocation stuff that dolphins are doing or are able to do. We don't know yet. We are in the Duke Encyclopedia of New Medicine. And they're saying, well, we published our first papers in 1982. And that's what they're talking about here. So if you see other people claiming, and you will, uh, that this is their stuff, it's coming from here. And it's coming from my ability to hear sounds when we can't find them in somebody's voice, I can do the sounds, yes, and the animals too, and we can figure out how we came to that conclusion. We know that bioacoustic is not medicine yet because we don't have all of the answers. We're looking for data, and I always tell people if they get well, that's their problem. And when the FDA came here and the American Medical Association, they just kind of threw up their hands at what we were doing 
because it was so out of the norm for them, out of the normal path of how they work. It's kind of even backwards. So just as there are pathways in the body that are chemical pathways, we have worked with the matrix of numbers and harmonics, and we have found a way to develop mathways. And even if we only have a couple of pieces of what's going on, like with Carolyn with pyruvate and Borrelia, we know what to do with those two numbers to entrain her brain and send her information back to make her brain do what it ought to have done in the first place, which is bring her to optimal form and function. We've been doing this for several years. You can see this is one of the first ones that we did in 2014. And we know that fibromyalgia also deals with inflammation and arthritis and allergies and um, the Krebs cycle of the body. Uh, Lyme has just come in recently, so that are other softwares that you might want to consider. And if you go to downloads on the soundhealthoptions.com page, you'll see lots of things that you can use. One of them is looking at that software list and seeing what other softwares you might want to make available to yourself through the portal. Also, there is how to take a vocal print and send it to Sound Health. You can use this. Take um, our name off or put your name on extra so that you can provide step-by-step -step information about your client and how they can send you an Audacity vocal print. So we'll start with the Audacity vocal print, then it will be uh, input into the portal. You'll choose a template. You'll create your management reports. There'll be extras on how to demonstrate the priority of templates, how to follow up with your client, and there are tutorials written, incredibly wonderful tutorials. And then what to do to follow up. And if any of this sounds like it's something you have missing, go back to your Bioacoustic Basics textbook, and that's on the site, soundhealthoptions.com, downloads under radiation right now that we keep up so you can download the Bioacoustic Basics. The pastel folder just is information uh, that you can share with your client. You will not need Abacus. The portal does the Abacus stuff automatically, but if you want to do it, you are welcome to. So quickly, we're going to import the WAV file set up a client, bring in that voice print, which is the WAV file, quickly browse and grab that WAV file, save and close, and choose the template we want to use, and the portal does the rest. It is so incredibly fast and easy. So we want to reach people that have a computer, and the other part of this is PC and Mac. So many people have grouched at us because we don't use Mac. Well, in the beginning, when we were starting this, what, in the early 90s, Mac was really hard to program and it's really expensive to program. So we chose the way that we could afford and did it on PC, but Portal makes all of that different. This is a wonderful but a little technical book, Fibromyalgia and Chronic Myofascial Pain. And I will make a copy of this title and put it into the chat for everybody. Susan said, I'm getting the hang of the portal and love using it mostly on Mac now. Great. Correct, Mike says, any platform. Uh, they can upload a VP file, yes, on the website. Ah, Jeff, they can upload a vocal file right directly on the website? 
this campaign of fibromyalgia where a person can go to the Sound Health Portal community website, soundhealthportal.com, or open the portal and then there's uh, sound services there on the left, explains how to do this. And then it says what happens when they do it. A qualified sound health provider like you're talking to now, the team of technicians and baras, uh, would, be uh, would be part of that, of that resource, resource and they would, and they would give, a give a preliminary scan to, their, to, their, to this to person who's person interested. Who's interested. And then and it then shows, shows them that, that really, you know, you, know, you can't just can't use your use device microphone. You've got to use uh, maybe, something maybe something better, better like the, the Samson Go mic, mic, for example. Anyways, Anyways you scroll down, down, then they then would they learn, learn how, how to capture, capture those voice samples, samples. And then and they then would, they you know, someone, someone would have to help them prepare it using Audacity at this time. We're still developing the ability to do that on a web page, but right now it's Audacity. That just, that just shows basically, basically how, how to, to get, a get a decent, decent recording. recording. It, it, it shows some shows videos of where to place the mic and things, things like that, that. and you know, why, why we, we want, want a decent, decent mic. mic. And, then and then on the bottomest the bottom part of this page, page, there's a place, there's a place to, upload to upload voice, voice files. files. And so what so they do is they join the community, and then if you open that up, just click on that. Uh, if, you're uh, if you're not signed, not signed in, in, you'll see you'll that, that you know you have to sign in or register. register. And so once so we once have we their have information, information, they're able to upload, upload voice files, files. and then and we then can, we can uh, disperse uh, those with people who are uh, helping, helping people with fibromyalgia. This is, this is generally, generally for people who don't have a practitioner, a practitioner but they but want they one. one. You know, they've, you know, they've seen, seen what you what do you on your, your talk, talk shows, shows and, and they're excited, they're excited about, about this, this and they just and say, hey, this, this sounds really sounds cool. cool. I think I want to try this. And then once they've submitted their interest at the website, a preliminary analysis would be offered to them, and then that information, their information would be forwarded on to a provider who is part of the uh, network. That is great, but I can see in addition to that, these uh, bioacoustic practitioners could send a client, maybe it's their mother who lives in Alaska and they're in the tip. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's no reason why, I mean, it's, to join the community is free. Once a person signs in, then there's information they can provide and there's a place to put a note like well my provider is um george we would just send that to to the provider that they have a referral to so absolutely if i'm a provider and i have somebody out in timbuktu they can definitely use the website as a way to get that voice file over to their provider however they could also just email them to their provider since they already have a relationship but yeah, it's absolutely open to anybody that wants to use it. I love this thing you're saying here about garbage in, garbage out. We got a dose of that um, last week of somebody using um, mic or headsets and a microphone that went with some gaming uh, software. And it was a mess. It didn't answer anything. And sometimes people don't believe us. We need you to have a decent mic if you want decent results. So I like this idea that you put up here, garbage in, garbage out. This is just excellent. And these are very short little videos. I mean, it's not like they're hours long. But the information is here on that portal for you and your client to end up knowing just exactly what to do here. It's, I'm, I'm so impressed with this. So you learning about fibromyalgia is one of the places to start. Yes, you need a, a portal subscription. Yes, you need to be familiar with the steps, but you also need to be familiar with fibromyalgia. And if you aren't, you can say to your client, this is just something I want to do and I want to help other people do. I don't know much about it. We can learn together. So for those who are just listening, fibromyalgia is a neurosensory disorder characterized by widespread muscle pain, joint stiffness, and fatigue. So you might want to think about uh, using the fatigue software with this also. The condition is chronic, ongoing, but pain comes and goes and moves about the body. The disorder is often misdiagnosed or unrecognized and is often complicated by mood and anxiety disorder. So lots of definitions here. You can take screen grabs of this. It talks about how many people have it and it's mostly women but i'm going to make this powerpoint available on a special fibromyalgia section because i think people need these as part of their education 
for helping others. Estimated that six to 10 million people worldwide have fibromyalgia. And I really think a lot of this is toxicity from the junk that our body does not know how to metabolize. Symptoms, transient, come and go, mobile, they move around the body, reoccurring, intermittent, erratic. It's very hard to pin down, but we do know that it's something about the metabolism of the muscles and maybe even nerve um, intervention too. Mobile pain, stiffness, I don't know why, but attract black flies and mosquitoes. That maybe could mean it has something to do with the carbon dioxide exchange, because if that's not done well, the body will attract mosquitoes because the mosquitoes are attracted to that carbon dioxide. Their balance is generally off, changes in the voice, edema, um, holding water, craving for carbs and sweets. Now I'm seeing a relationship here with these symptoms with lipidemia, which is keeping not only water, but keeping oils and fats and carb uh, craving sweets. Ridges on the nails, scar, usually fibrotic um, breast tissue, galloping cholesterol, up and down cholesterol, unusual reactions to medications, thick mucus in nose, eyes, and throat. So you can see this is just kind of all over the place. Some people have night sweat. Some people get the shakes. Their hair's thinning. They bruise easily or not at all. That's another issue with lipidemia. Thinning hair, jumpy muscles, twitchy muscles, people would call them. Hands hurt if run under cold water. Light sensitivity, dizziness, electromagnetic sensitivities, which brings magnesium and a lot of the minerals that are used in the muscles. Numbness, tingling, frequency wet ears. Now that tells me that Epstein-Barr is a part of this. When your ears feel wet and sloshy inside, that is the activation of the Epstein-Barr virus, which is very um, hidden. Stealth, it's a stealth virus. These are some of the initiating events, stress, microcirculation problems with mineralization. Mira Colton talks a lot about that on the shows that she was on with us. Proprioceptive events like a stroke in that part of your brain which you don't know where your body parts are. I know when I had a stroke about 10 years ago, I didn't know where my foot and leg was. I could see it, but I couldn't feel where it was. It is just a tremendously traumatic event and so that and the stress metabolic imbalances going back to the Krebs cycle and the methylation mapping I'm trying to move through these quickly some of the things that we have done with fibromyalgia looking at a lot of different peoples we found they have a low threshold of pain and they have higher levels of histamine now remember you I showed you the pastel folder in there is a green paper it tells you that if somebody has high histamine, you might want to use methionine with them first because that ameliorates the very high histamine and high histamine makes people very histrionic. Histrionic means they overreact and it may look like overreacting on the outside, but their nerves are just on edge and that's what's making them not know which direction to turn. So that is beyond what you'll see in the literature. Our literature, I should say bioacoustic literature, substantiated this. But I don't think in terms of fibromyalgia. Lack of pyruvate, which is a note of F, and oxygen at a cellular level. Inability to disperse lactic acid, F sharp. Inflammation from high iron. Pollution, toxicity, immunization, stress. Nerve pathway blockages or sensitivities are just an inability to send on the impulse. Here is one lady that we worked with that just could not believe what was going on. It took about an hour 
of the fibromyalgia sound from the fibromyalgia tone box. And she wanted to, I said, what is, what's the first thing you want to do when you get well? I always set people up that way. She said, I want to go skiing. And we went to get our tone box back from her because she had had it for three months and, and wouldn't return it, wouldn't return our calls. And her um, office told us she was out skiing. So she got her wish. I don't think we ever got the tone box back. We learned then to have people sign paperwork. This is another one that this was actually on TV and I was going to share this with you so you could see how uh, good of a marketing tool this is. I'm going to get up and it's, it's going to go away. This woman lives in constant pain. Now she hopes the use of sound of her own voice to ease her agony, a special report tonight. Can the sound of your voice tell doctors you will soon be sick or hurt? An Ohio researcher with Miami Valley Ties believes that is true. Marsha Bonhart explains why her new age theory sounds so interesting. Marsha? Mark and Colleen, it is called bioacoustics. And there's a local woman who hopes her own voice will finally tell doctors how to treat her chronic debilitating pain. Hi, this is Valerie Elijah. Join me Saturday night. Valerie Elijah is a busy wife, mother, and a community affairs director for a local radio station. I'll see you It may not look like it, but she spends every day in agony, often unable to sleep. I mean, I pray for it every night that the next day I'm going to get up and it's, it's going to go away, but I know that it's not. Valerie's ordeal began 16 years ago, right after the birth of her twin daughters. The fatigue, I can't even describe to you. Valerie saw scores of doctors. Finally, a specialist at the Cleveland Clinic diagnosed her with fibromyalgia, a disorder that fills her body with consistent, unexplained, excruciating pain. I'll uh, just go ahead and put them on. That's why Valerie was anxious to meet this fairborn woman, Sherry Edwards, considered the foremost expert on bioacoustics. We take a sample of your voice, usually 30 to 40 seconds long. We subject that. A set of notes and frequencies and words that you use uh, to a computer and the computer puts it in order. Edwards believes each of us has a unique frequency expressed through our voice. When we get sick or when we're about to get sick, Edwards claims she can see it in voice patterns. If we were um, going to play it back, it would sound like from the very lowest to the very highest. My twins' names are Kiera. Edwards Brandy. took Valerie's voice they sample. Were born August. She also hooked Valerie to headphones that carry a sound designed to ease the pain. You'll hear just a really low kind of thumping sound. Within five yeah. minutes, Valerie yeah. Elijah said yeah. her pain yeah. decreased. Yeah. That's when Edwards showed her the findings of her vocal print. The computer compared that print to patterns known to show fibromyalgia. It's a um, high sort of upward um, triangular shape and it's thick on one side but thin on the other and that tells me it's toxicity. For Valerie, some answers she hopes will unlock the mystery of her pain. It's good to know but it's also scary, you know, that you have toxins in your body and pathogens in your body that are going to cause problems, but I'd rather know so that um, hopefully I can do something about it. For Edwards, the satisfaction of helping a client who has suffered so much for so long. We've been able to create a technology that I think is going to change medicine. So as we worked with her, we found out that her toxicity was Pitocin, an artificial oxytocin that um, they give you when they're inducing labor. And sure, en sure enough, they induced labor with her twins. So we detoxed the body from the Pitocin and her fibromyalgia went away. We use numbers, frequencies of the voice to represent the Pitocin because the body recognizes things as a frequency. Everything comes in as a frequency, whether it's a pill or an aroma or a sight or something you're hearing. Everything comes in and frequencies are notes in our music. So uh, Pitocin I think is a note of B. I can't remember. But we took the frequency of the note of B or you could get some relief with just um, using frequencies of the notes of B like in music and that would tone it down some. That's why some people are saying, 
um, use music to heal the pain. We created two tone boxes. We probably could put these together, but these are really testing tone boxes for technicians and bearers. The yellow one is to help metabolize the lactic acid and the pyruvate, and the iron colored one is to get rid of the toxic um, overload of iron, hemochromatosis, most of the time. And a lot of times it's a medication like the Pitocin that you just saw. So there are hopes, and we do have a set of Sono cards that's just for fibromyalgia. One of the first things you want to have your people do when they are doing an audacity vocal print to send to you is to make sure they have the right kind of mic. There are a couple of others that we just brought up. This one is very fragile. You drop it or look at it cross-eyed and it, the, it snaps at the bottom. This one is, is um, pliable, but boy, is it expensive now. It used to be like $14 and now it's 80 So the most consistent one we use is this little Go mic. And this is a clip to hold the Go mic in, but some people are clipping this to their computer and they're getting all kinds of wild uh, sounds that really don't belong to the person. It's things from the computer. This one, Samson, this is really heavy. It weighs about six pounds. But boy, it's indestructible. Kids can chew on it and drop it, and you can probably run over it like the commercial, and it'd be okay. The other thing you might want to look at is to go to the Sound Health option site and look at all of the software available. Unless there is a place on the portal, is there a place where the you've listed all the software? Let me go to portal again. It says templates. Ah, okay. Cute. I haven't seen this. Nice, very nice. Okay, we are going to go to the portal, and this is where you're going to learn very quickly how to do all of this. And one of the things I want to suggest is that as a client, we're going to make a new client just called Fibromyalgia Campaign. I'm kind of setting crooked. We don't care what the birthday is, so we're just going to put in. 12, 12, 12, because this is really the campaign where we're going to put all of our people in here. And we don't care if it's male or female, and uh, it's going to be worldwide, we hope, when we get finished here. And this is going to be a collection, my Alja clients. And we need to save and close here, unless you're going to put in more clients or something. We already put in uh, Carolyn's mundane, and we're just going to take her health one, which I have here, and I need to test first. You always need to test using Audacity. If not, and it's not right, you're just going to mess, you're just going to waste your time. So if we import audio, and we're going to do it from our fibro. There's Carolyn's health, so we we pull it in. Uh, it's a little low, but 32 hertz, 16-bit mono, and you can see that it's mono. You look at how long it is, 35 seconds, that's great. So always test it so you're not wasting your time. So we're just going to import that. hurt when I touched myself. I had always been a high energy person and then I was uh, diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I went to an orthopedic and then to a neurosurgeon without actually help from either one of these doctors. 
So I've just learned to live with the chronic fatigue and treat myself and the trigger points that hurt so bad. So you always want to test to see if there's not bird whistles or they've got music on in the background, something that would occur to you but not necessarily to them, dog barks. So at this point you can snap those out of there and edit it. And how to edit that's all in that little Bioacoustic Basics book. So we're going to put in a new WAV file. We already uh, entered our fibromyalgia campaign. so. And we want to just click in her health. Yours will probably be easier because your desktop will probably be more organized. And the description can be Carolyn Darnell, 24 year sufferer, um, fibro campaign. You can give her a number, 0217, whatever you want to do with it. But again, save and close. I just want to click on this, go to templates. I want to look at my fibro, my algae template. Click. I want to pull points based on that template. Now we already did her mundane. This is the next one. Let's see if the same things come up. It has a score of 400, irrelevance of 448. The other one was 300. Let me see if this will let me make this a little smaller. So I can go over here and, and click on this and say I want the information. Now I've organized mine by relevance. You could put template up here, you could put use up here for this because I know it's fibromyalgia and I don't need to know what the template is unless I'm going to be doing three or four templates at once I just need to look at the relevance and it tells me there's a relevance of 34 all the way down to a relevance of 8 there's 109 entries so I'm going to just expand all and look at that first section there's the lactic acid prolactin um, mild elevation found in those with fibromyalgia lactic acid lactic acid now human influenza is low you know if your chances of getting the flu are low leave it alone magnesium and that is very low and it says that it is uh, Important deficiency in muscle fiber speculated to be factor. So we could send her to the health food store to get some magnesium. It looks like it's in here many times. There's the pyruvate again. So both of her charts are telling us the same thing. Now, if we want to look and see if that lime is in here from the last one, the Borrelia, you can do a search. And it looks like there is no lime. I B-O-R-R-E-L-I-A. Maybe it wants it that way. In this one, it's saying it's not showing the Borrelia. But you can look for a number. You can look for a word here. Uh, no, you can't look for a number at technician level. Sorry. But the next thing to do is to go in and say show in a report. And you have several choices of what you can do with this report. In the beginning, we want you just to send the report on to your client. How do they get rid of high 5-HETE? Go back to that green sheet. What does HTP um, need to work? That green sheet that's on sound health um, under... This is really important for you to be able to do your evaluations. So if we look at tryptophan, the 5-HTP, necessary production of B3 with sufficient amounts of B6 and C, folate and magnesium helps make serotonin not available as a supplement in the U.S. Well, they have, 
uh, it available now as 5 um, HTP. So you can move down through here and together you can do some sleuthing. Boron is low. That is one of the hair loss issues. It also gives you a little creepy crawly uh, feelings on your skin. Caffeine is low. I don't think anybody cares. Carnitine is low. You do not want that low. It helps rebuild your muscles. So going down through here and looking at all of these. Cortisol, adiponectin, um, ameliorates cortisol. Coffee, coffee beans, um, avocado, fish oil. All of those are in the literature that we've pointed you to. Uh, ferritin was part of iron, but it is low. She has four pages. You can send this to her and then make a appointment and charge for it to go over. What we're telling people we are willing to do is give them the report, but we don't have time to sit down and go over all of it with them. And that's where you'll make your appointment with your person. So we can print this. We can print just the page we're on. We can make it into a PDF to send to her later. And I'm not going to do that yet because we did a simple way of doing this. We're going to combine the two files that we did. I don't think I have them in the same. I know I don't. I'm just going to have to do it this way. Unless, uh, Michael, you can tell me how to combine these or move one. I want to move this fibromyalgia into my fibromyalgia campaign. How can I do that? Fibromyalgia, your fibromyalgia so I want to merge these two files. I probably do it that way. That would work. But now I don't have my fibromyalgia campaign. I have the fibromyalgia. Um, right. Yeah. Just rename that. If we open this. We see these two. Oh, this one hasn't been evaluated. That's why. So if I click on this one, I need to go grab the template. So Fibro, pull the points based on that template, punch OK. Now I should have them. There they are. So we can combine these two. I go in and change the names here because this just confuses me and you change it with this little pencil up here. But I want to choose all when I do this. We found out if you don't choose all in the beginning, you lose some things. So I'm going to, um, I want to save as all and I want to export it to, I keep forgetting always to hit this button here. Now I can export it to an XLS file and I want to put this into my file where I'm collecting all this data. And it says combo here, but I want to rename that because I, I just can't track them all. So combo Carolyn Darnell Fibro. My major thing is housekeeping and just keeping everything straight. So these are the two templates that we used. We can go back and sort of do a compare. At this point, can I make a report or I just have to export? Uh, there's no report available here. So you export it to Excel to do a report or export it to a new evaluation to do your combo.
so there's the combination done with uh, not much elegance on my part, but it's including both of the files. Again, a high relevance of 32. Carnitine. Carnitine seems to be relevant. Let's say we want to look at pyruvate. I think we can do this. Okay, of all that that came up, it's the genome she has for pyruvate. So there's no fix for that medically. So it really looks like she has a problem genetically with pyruvate. And you can't go buy a gene at the local health food store. We would have to refer her to a technician. We can also show the report, the combined report, here and this if they send you one file that's all you can use but if they send you two you're more likely to be pointed toward the direction of where they need to go and you can export this to um, a disk so this is Carolyn Darnell's um, combo report that you learn to do in the two-day and the five-day class. And I've misspelled Carolyn. So this is what you would send to your client and then you would follow up. So you can save it for your files. We did some of this with Lipedema and they are working on new uh, reporting templates But if something is low, you do one thing. If something is high, you do another. Do you have this up on the site anywhere? This uh, report options and explanations that we wrote for people? We're going to add that to the, the back of the report, so not yet it's coming. Okay. But it says if it's low, they can simply do that with um, nutrients, not if it's a gene or something. But receptors are important for pyruvate and genes, activators, proteins, nutrients. So if it's low, if they can get it at their health food store, fine, well, and good. But if it's high, you've got to find out. So this is just a little report of what to do if you're just sending them their report. I would put this in the body of the email. Take this off and put your stuff on there and make it your own. We have a nice little heading that we put with this. I haven't sent you yet, Michael. I will give it to you so this will have a nice heading on it. And that was pretty simple, wasn't it? You've got it all in the tutorials. The next step here is for us to send you these referrals. Um, well, I guess the next step really is for you to get yourself situated on the portal as a technician, as a bearer. Get your fibromyalgia software. Can you go over that? How if they are already on the portal and they need the extra software, how can they do that? You have to order it from the community center. Okay, website. but hold on a second. I, I want to change gears, I'm sorry. Um, if I hit my templates, what's going to happen here? Uh, by default, it's showing your templates. So if you hit the drop down, you can select. Yeah, hit the drop down. You can select all templates, which are all templates available. Now Sherry's kind of special because I think she already has all templates. So, and and Sherry did this before, but you can select multiple templates. Um, I'm not suggesting Sherry that you select them all, but. If, if you select a few of these, uh, what's going to happen here is that when you when you own multiple templates or subscribe to them on the portal, there you go. Uh, you can focus in on. Typically, you'd probably take a look for symptoms. You know whether it's a cardiovascular or muscular or, or joint system uh, symptom, and then you select which templates you want to use, and you don't have to add in the point. Um, you know, the pull method. So you'd say, okay, well, let's 
take highs and lows, and what it'll do is it'll create a new evaluation for each one of your selected templates. Let me go over that again. Let's just sit and wait for it to do its thing. So what's happened here is now we've got a few more evaluations that were automatically put together, and by default they're going to use the high-low uh, point picking method. So you can see the clients come in, you record a voice file, you send it up to the portal, and then based on symptoms, you may decide to go through and take a look at cardiovascular, uh, neurological issues, uh, could be you know, digestion or whatever, but you basically pick a series of templates and then the portal will automatically run evaluations for you. And it gives you a score. Exactly, the relevant score. And this doesn't mean that's 1,202 hits. It just means of the hits that are there, this is how many of them play together well. Isn't there a place where they can go in and choose all templates that they have and it'll give them this. We had a lady last week that she came in for one thing and it was totally another one when I did this. Yeah, relevance is only available after you run an evaluation because what it does is it takes into account the individual points that were picked, their rollovers, whether there's any pairs, the number of hits, and so on. So there's quite a bit of uh, information being packed into the calculation of the relevance. I think what you're referring to, Sherry, is after you've picked some points, let's go ahead and click into one of those evaluations. Just open up the evaluation. These? Yeah, just pick one, that's fine. And here, if you go into the wave file, you know, these should be just highs and lows here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It looks like there's a clump down, you know, there, which is probably not great, but let's just go with what we got here. Now, this is what Shuri was referring to, is if you go up to the, um, the templates button and click on report template, what this is going to do, and it takes a few seconds for this to do it, is taking each one of these points that have been selected and it runs it against all of the templates. That way it gives you an idea of the number of hits and the percentage of hits you know, against those templates. So let's take a look at those two columns there. The hits column and the percentage hits column. For the 911 tools, there are only three hits. Of those 24 points that you saw, those red marks on the previous screen, three of them match the points that are in the 911. But take a look at adrenal burnout. There's 18 matches. So you've got a total of 24 points that were picked. And so uh, let's take a look at PTSD. And this is a, a fairly common occurrence if you own a PTSD template, is that you have 111 hits. And, and a hit, how can you have 24 points and have 111 hits? Uh, it doesn't make sense, does it? Well, actually it does, because when you pick a point, you actually pick a, a swath of points, and that swath of points is defined by the variance. So you pick a point on the chart here, but you're actually including points, you know, point zero three to the, the lower part and point zero three to the upper part. So you're, you're including a lot more points. What this is saying is that you pick 24 points, but you have 111 matches in the PTSD. But that only re represents 11% of the template. So there must be <clears throat> there must be a thousand a thousand points at least in that PTSD. So that's why it, typically PTSD will be up on top because it has so many points, and the chance of you hitting those points uh, with your with anything that you select is very uh, possible. When you get a high percentage and high hits, that's when you bingo. Exactly. But there's 17 pages of this that you can look through even without owning the templates. So you can see where you ought to be going with this client. Attention span, aggressiveness, pain. Anything above 20 is significant here, 20% of the hits. 
like with bulimia, there's only one. It's 20%, but there's only one. So it means there's five or six hits in there. So I wouldn't be concerned about that. But I just think that's incredible, especially for you Barras. You'll be able to see immediately where you need to go by the percentage of hits. They can't open these if they don't own them, can they? Well, you're you're looking at my templates. So uh, on top it says my templates. Okay. So yes, you you can open those. The majority of people, um, if they want to see what's really happening across the board, meaning you've got over 200 templates that you built, Sherry, that are embedded, that are running on the portal here. So if, um, for instance, me, I don't have them all. So if when I click on the drop down on my templates and select all templates then it's actually going to report to me results based on templates that I don't own. And this should help guide you as a borrower and a technician into focusing in on those uh, areas of concern for the client. So we're looking for percentages above 20. That's pretty significant. Can we just look at Fibro as a comparison here? So it's 20 hits at 10%. So Fibro, even though she has uh, 20 hits and there's 200 issues here, there's something beyond fibromyalgia. And we saw that there are Borrelia, we saw some uh, minerals. So that's where we would go looking. And along with that thought, Sherry, too, is that you know we pick the points on this chart using highs and lows. Ah. There's, uh, there's other methods you could use like current or long term and so if you if you go ahead and select this template let's just focus in on this template here go ahead and select it and then click OK and so this is taking the highs and low points that were selected here and just running them against the you know the fibromyalgia template you can see that yeah, there's a few of the points with the aqua ring around it, but there's also a point like that that Sherry's pointing out that, that has nothing. And there's quite a few points. I would say the majority of points have nothing. So what do you do in this stage? You know, uh, several things. We can go back and pick more points. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's take a look at the different ways of picking points. Click on the three buttons. I'm going to pull points. And Sherry, what would you recommend based on what you see? Well, she's had this for 24 years, and I really like that lowest low over there. So I'm going to, I'm going to look at current first because she's still suffering right now. And so one of the advantages of the portal, the way it's set up, is that you can quickly change whether you want to do long-term or current. Um, or predictive, you can take a look at the different areas of this chart and pull points immediately. So here we've got a little bit more activity, but we still have quite a few points there. Even that long dangler way up high up there um, does not seem to be um, associated with the fibromyalgia template. Well, one of the things you can look at, she said she's had this for 24 years, and this is long term, She's got a couple of lows here in long term, but it's really active in now. 26% under pain. That's pretty significant. Can we go see what's in that pain stuff? Yes, this is one of your templates, so yes, we can. You can select multiple ones of these, right? So you can go ahead and you want to do pain and nerve degeneration. Let's do those three. Now, I don't have my template up there in the choices, so I need to change that, don't I? Um, so if I go to frequency hits, I need to put template up here so we know which ones they're coming through. So here's our pain ones. I'm going to move this over because I'm... No, it's not going to show the frequencies. So relevance 15. And there's one. That's the most significant things. 
bromelain is her most significant thing. The next most significant prostaglandin E2 is some is inflammation. Now you can ameliorate this strangely enough with natural vinegar like Bragg's or about a half a teaspoon of baking soda in water. So prostaglandin E2 is one of the bad guys that causes pain and it's high. We could go in, can't we, and see, can I get it here, the no correlate chart? Um, you can go up and report and do the report on the no correlate chart. I'll show a report and then the second one. Yeah, on the arrow. There you go. So we want to see how many F's she has. This is just fun to play with because there's so many ways you can go. There's a four at C and a 4 at F sharp and only a 2 at F. So C and F sharp looks like her worst issues. This is just with her numbers filled in. Blood filtering, managing mineral balance, and then the C, large thick muscles. So that's as simple as it gets, people. Plus, you've got tutorials that can take you through this again and again. Okay, well you were going to add something, Mike, and I interrupted you and sent you in a totally different direction. Well, I was going to answer your question, and the question was, is, is if somebody is interested in uh, obtaining one of these templates, whether it's the fibromyalgia, um, how do they do that? And so, yeah, let's go there. Okay, I'm, th I'm there. That's it. Okay, where do I go from here? You go ahead and select options, the button right underneath it. There you go. And so, if it's a template that you want to use for a while, you can renew it monthly. Um, or if you hit the drop down on that. You just want to pick it for one month if you want it. So, it depends how you want it check it out and then you just go ahead and click on start now and it'll take you off to uh, we use PayPal and so if you have a PayPal account it's just a matter of um, you can process it with PayPal funds if you have funds out there or um, I have uh, you can process it from you know direct uh, uh, directly from your checking account or put it on your credit card if you like you rent a fibromyalgia template for, for a month and so you can export it to Excel spreadsheets or render reports and everything else. You get all the data. After that month expires, if you want to see those same kind of fibromyalgia reports, um, they won't be there um, because you, you haven't renewed your subscription. Um, the data is still there. Nothing's gotten deleted. It's just that we don't fill in the report with the fibromyalgia data that you no longer subscribe to. Oh, that's Are good. you implying that if you then re-sign up for it, all the data will magically show up from the first subscription? Correct. The actual points that are picked, which influences the reports and the frequency hits information, um, that all stays. That never gets deleted. So. But one of the things I do is I just start a file for the person and go in and when there is a report I go put their name on it or change it so I have the information can you show how to share the work how oh, if they're sure. doing a fibromyalgia they can share it with me sure if you go back to your client Sherry there you go and go into the info tab there you go. You see where it says client and then gender is female and then shared with and it's an M slash A. So currently we're not sharing this um, file with anybody else. So what we do is we go ahead and edit this record. So you click on the three dots. Yeah, up here. There you go. Yeah, go ahead okay. and edit it. And then if you, you can go down to the shared with field. 
and click on that's actually a little eraser. Click on find and I'm going to share with George. Uh, there's nothing preventing us from building a library of, of work that people have done and submitted, you know, and have it available to you know, certain segments of the group. Susan says, can you go back to the page where you were looking at the relevance listings and show me how you got the lines that show up showing relevance and it's a clickable drop-down button? Page where you're looking at relevance listings. Let's open one of these. And a very related question is, how do you get the, uh, the ultimate or the all to show when you don't own everything like Sherry? All will show all the time. Anytime you click on templates, George. Even if you don't own them, when we're looking at relevance, they'll show. What it's doing, it's evaluating those points against all templates. If you don't have any points, it can't calculate the number of hits, nor the percentage of hits within that template. Okay, Mike, walk me through this. They want to know the exact steps to get that whole listing of percentages. Okay, well, let's create a new evaluation, because this is how I will do it. Let's say, for the time being here, that we've just uploaded Carolyn's health voice file and we're going to create a new evaluation. Then what I would do is I would take a look at these points and I'd say, okay, well, based on these points, it looks like we've got some long-term stuff happening. Uh, we've got a lot of descenders in that tall area there. Let's go ahead and pick some points. So click on points and click on long-term. Okay, let's take a look at these points and see if everything looks reasonable. We have a grouping in mid-screen there, but we're going to just go with this the way we see it. So go into the, uh, the templates, the report template button, and what it's doing now is taking these points that were picked and it's running them against all templates. And all templates includes my templates. So first it shows you your templates. These are the ones that you've subscribed to. Go ahead and click on the drop down on my templates and click on all templates. Okay. So this is taking all templates and then she sorted them by descending percentage hits here. So we've got a 22% hit with the smoking. These thyroid and bio diet all seem pretty interesting. So you can focus in on, on those. But you notice I pick the points first and then I can see what's happening with all templates. And then the third option up on top there's my, there's all, and then we have a collection of what we call micro templates. I believe smoking is one of them. So if you hit the drop down up on top, Sherry, and select micro templates, micro templates have less than 50, maybe less than 20 points in them. So you'll see where the pancreas uh, template, there's seven hits. That represents, you know, 29% of the templates, uh, template points in there. So that means we've got, we've got what, 21, 22 points in that thing. So uh, with micro templates, it helps you focus in on, on different aspects. It's like really sharpening the pencil. That's how you can use all templates. So an approach would be is you, you pick the points, you've taken a look at my templates, and maybe you've got a half a dozen, maybe you've got a dozen, or maybe you like George and you have a hundred, you know. But you, you can see what's happening with my templates, then take a look at what's happening with all templates. Kind of gives you a bird's eye view of what might be going on. Um, if there's a template that you know, really seems to ring true, you know, under all templates, that you want to make part of, of your artillery here, then just go back to the portal, uh, sign up for that template for a month, and run some clients through it and see if it works for you. Now you have two options, you can continue to rent it, or you can actually purchase it from Sound Health Options, and then it'll become part of your, what we call the storage um, subscription fee. What I'm gonna do is send you a follow-up letter for what we did today, and to put up that PowerPoint so you can get all the information off it. We probably should put together a cheat sheet page, of do this first and then um, this and then this, we're actually working on something, um, we're always working on something, 
one of the things that we're doing is uh, we have the short video clips, uh, which are, are excellent material that you, know, you can jump back into and review at any time. Uh, we're also putting together a, uh, a help manual, <coughs> which will be available through the portal at once you log in, and they'll they'll cover different aspects of, of the screen that you're currently focused in on. So if it's a uh, uh, an evaluation screen, you can click a help button, and then we'll navigate you to a uh, a resource where you can you know take screenshots. Um, you print out the page if you want. From your perspective, you guys are going to get yourself situated with the portal. Go watch these wonderful tutorials that will help you through everything. Um, get in touch with me and let me know if you want to receive referrals from the fibromyalgia group. We think that we can do the first run through here and send them the report and then give them your address and contact information so they can get in touch with you locally. Or if it's a friend in California that, and you're in Ohio and you want them to be your client, just let us know. It's a simple method to run through that they've put together for you. So we will probably be having more of these and we will certainly let you know. And thank you for being here.